What up, y'all? Today's story to Hatchby 1996, the monster. Y'all favorite guy, Mumpy. So as I promised to the viewers, if the monster didn't come on and share those stories he promised us, I will give y'all a Mumpy story. This story takes place on the baseball field. So we in prison and we got a baseball league, a softball league, you know. And Mump at this time, Mump got to be about 35 years old. So he's still in his prime for softball. And now within the California prison system, there's so many athletes, so many people that could have played professional ball. But we're talking baseball, and we had a lot of good baseball players. I'm talking about the white boys, the Mexicans, and the brothers. You had star baseball. Dudes who messed off their careers, either in high school, college, or in the minor leagues after they got drafted. And they end up right here in prison on the baseball field. The baseball games are mixed. They're interracial, so you got all these different races playing on the same team, and you don't see no color during the baseball games. That's one of the only things you could do in the prison where nobody's tripping off race, except for, like, the gambling pools, betting in the pool. Nobody cares who you are. They're just trying to get your story, get your money. So now, the homeboy Moody. Now, y'all know Moody. Moody and me are on the same baseball team. We, what you call dorm seven. We was in dorm living. And Mump was on the other side. I don't know what dorm Mump was in, but they got a great baseball team. They got a dude named Rob, I believe, from Compton. You got Buddy Miles from Venice Showline. And on our squad, man, we got, we got some good, some good Southsiders on our squad. We got Tick from Do Rock. We got my homeboy Moody, we got myself, we got CJ from the hood, and um, we just had a host of good players, and we had this bomb shortstop. I want to say his name is Tiny from Venice Thresse, but I'm not sure on that, but really good shortstop with a glove, gold glover. We got a tight infield and outfield. Our whole team is good, but so is Mump's team, and... There's this guy in Mump's dorm, his white guy, his name is Jim Bean. Jim Bean was the umpire of the game. This is a big game. This is the winner goes to the World Series. So it's a big game. Everybody in the prison's out watching the game. And Jim Bean's the first base umpire. Now Mump, he thinks he's this perennial all-star, this gold glove shortstop, this hell of a hitter. Mom think he's good in everything. Like the swag that you see, all the things that you see about Mump, how smooth he is. Well, he's the same way in sports and everything he does. He's a smooth character. And I don't mean to say character in a bad way. He's a good, fun-loving, real homeboy. But you can't tell Mump nothing about sports. Oh, he's the greatest to ever put a glove on. Best shortstop to ever go to penitentiary. He could play the hot corner. He could play other positions, but he gets the ground ball. He feels it, throws guys out. He does his shit. I got nothing bad to say about his defense, right? But Mumpy had told me and Moody and some of the other homies how much of a great game he was going to have and how he's going to hit the ball here and there. Mump could have all the power in the world. I ain't never seen it. Not me. I never seen this power, right? I've seen him have power in other ways, but not with the bat in his hand. So we thinking it's going to be a hell of a game, which it was. It was a tight, tough game. But we expecting Mump to do something. Let's go, Mump. Let's see what you got, Mump. He's not just representing his dorm. He's representing us as a people and us as homies from 60s. So Mump comes up the bat. And Mump hits a ground ball to shortstop. Southsider picks it up, throws him out. Jim Bean calls him out. It's, it's, a, it's a routine out at first base. 
So Monk comes up again, but this is in a clutch situation. He got runners on base, and they losing by one. They down by one run. And Monk comes up to bat. He hits another weak ball to shortstop. Shortstop goal. Monk runs it out. He throws the first. It's a bang-bang play at first. It's a close play at first. The umpire calls Monk out. He was out. Probably about half a step. And Monk says, man, Jim Bean, I'm tired of you with that bullshit. You bet not call me out again. Now, the name Jim Bean supposedly come from the whiskey bottle or what have you, right? And Monk, being a lifer, and by now he's been in jail like 17 years probably, something like that. Monk then got all this frustration built up in him. He then went from a level four to a level three to a level two maximum. And there's still a lot of animosity in this guy with the police over the years, you know what I'm saying? The, the disrespect some of the correctional officers have for brothers or, or prisoners. And so Mump can't take it out on the oppressor. So the next best thing has to be Jim Bean. And they partners, they still talk to this day. I don't know how they feel about the story, but Monk comes up the third time. And you know what happened. He hit another ground ball to shortstop. And Monk runs it out. Monk is running up the first baseline. He's flying. And makes another close play at first. Another bang, bang play. This one was tighter than a half a step. This might have been a quarter inch. He's out. One could argue if there was replay, he might be called safe. But I say he was out. Get him out of here. In fact, Monk was hitting the ball so weak, he should have been called out anyway. He displayed some good speed, some good hustle, runs his balls out. And Jim Bean calls him out. We're out. And Monk walks up to Jim Bean. The gun tower is right over us right behind home plate, looking over the baseball field. Mumpy can't believe it, he's furious. He's so upset, he slaps the shit out the umpire. He slaps Jim Bean with a right, and we die laughing. The Mump is furious, man, and we are laughing like a motherfucker, man. Mump slaps the shit out of Jim Bean. Bah! He slaps the shit out of Motherfucker, I told you not to call me out no more. You with that bullshit. Jim Bean just took it. It sounded like the whole penitentiary got quiet. Now that I think about it, it was summertime, so it could have been the heat that got to the monster. Or it could have been his ego. We are on the ground, literally dying, man. Stomachs touching our back from laughing so hard, man. Shit was crazy. We ended up winning the game something like 7-3. We advanced to the Royal Series to play Thede, Thede from Swans, and they beat us in a one-run game in the World Series. And there's a message in that, because Buddy Miles was the home plate umpire for the World Series. This is Mump's teammate. This is the team we beat to get there. And he called me out on strikes. I don't strike out, especially in softball. So, Buddy Miles, I think that was personal. I think you owe me an apology, and I think we deserve uh, some type of reparations for winning the World Series in Tehachapi, man. But shout out to Thede. Thede's a good baseball player, left-hander, southpaw, first baseman, power hitter, good ball player right there. The moral to the story is you can't always expect to cheat your way through life. You can't always expect somebody to cheat for you. And you can't always expect things to go your way. Sometimes we have good days, and sometimes we have bad days. You have to take the good with the bad. With that said, I'm out. Thanks for watching this edition of KM Video Live Streams, True Stories.